Hi everyone, today's video is going to be really quick because I just wanted to show you a dairy-free, grain-free, nut-free and seed-free plant milk alternative. The main ingredient here are tiger nuts, which are not nuts but rather a vegetable. They are considered a root vegetable, but unlike most starchy vegetables, the resistant starch in tiger nuts acts more like a fiber. So tiger nuts are especially popular among people who are on a low carb diet or who want to lose weight. Technically, you don't need to soak tiger nuts, but they are quite hard and soaking helps with the blending process. Once soaked, add the tiger nuts into a high speed blender and blend on high until smooth. You will be left with quite a bit of tiger nut pulp, which you can dehydrate and grind into flour for baking. Because there is a lot of pulp left over, you will want to strain the milk through a nut milk bag or cheesecloth. And that's it, naturally sweet, dairy-free, grain-free and nut-free plant milk alternative. Our family goes through a lot of plant milk. I like almond milk and cashew milk, Tana likes coconut milk and rice milk, our kids love oat milk so we go through a lot now admittedly i do not make a lot of tiger nut milk because there's a lot of leftover pulp when you make the milk but the milk itself is really good and this is strained so there's yes. no pulp in it just yes. to be clear okay this is really good i have been sampling it now for like the last 10 minutes i can't get over how good it is yeah it's, there's no it's sweetener no it's sweetener. Just, it's naturally sweet. And it is sweet. Like, not overpoweringly sweet, but it's just surprisingly sweet. There is, like, to, visually, it looks like rice milk. It's got, like, that slight translucence, kind of like a skim milk look to it. Like a dairy-based skim milk. But to taste it, it is so surprising. It is just, I'm expecting, like, almond milk flavor or rice milk flavor. And it's, like, this sweet with a hint of watermelon it's yeah it's like a watermelon yeah. flavor mixed in with an almond milk but it's the, the the watermelon sweetness is overpowering there's like there's a nutty undertone but the overpowering note of sweetness from watermelon is there i don't there's obviously no watermelon no. here no i can't get over how sweet it is i'm still waiting for you to tell me that this is something <laughs> else and no. i failed your taste test <laughs> This is, I don't know, like make it try it for yourself because it's really good. It's really sweet and I've never tasted anything like it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.